Moving on, at least three people are reported to have died following heavy floods that caused havoc in the capital city of Nairobi on Sunday night. Among those killed is a police officer attached to Kamkunji police station who was swept away by floods after successfully rescuing four people who were trapped in a stall within the country bus station. Now, Nairobi has long grappled with the recurring issue of flooding, which was which has become an all too familiar sight during the rainy seasons. This is the scene witnessed in several neighborhoods in Nairobi. Flooding causing damage and destruction. The Karatasi product company was not spared. Flood waters submerged in these premises and disrupted daily operations. The flood mitigation infrastructure system here seems inadequate. Sidenye tukonayo hapa kubwa sana si mara ya kwanza hii kitu ishatupata karibu mara mara tatu ikifuatana na ni shida ni ile the same muto ikijaa maji na inge kwa kampuni ndani kampuni kuna vitabu vitabu na maji azielewani kitu ya kitu ya pili hapa sasa kazi ni kama si hatuna kazi kwa saa hii na si sisi peke yetu kampuni zikapa round karibu kampuni ine Workers at this company are blaming the Nairobi County management for turning a blind eye to the flooding problem that has been plaguing them with every heavy downpour. Niki tu ninge penda kuliza governor. Aki fanya campaign zake, alikuwa metro promise, ata tengeneza mambo ya drainage na sewer lines. So, kama kitu kama hii neza fanyika na irudie marapili, ye ata kutuma watu kwa ground, atu jaona agari yote ya county government ikikuja huku. Na sisi wapa Nairobi tulimpati ya kura. Sato tunamuleza kwenye ametusahau wa mashida yuko wapi. Pupils at Ngei Primary School in Langata faced disruptions in their studies due to a foul order permeating their school compound. The sewerage system was damaged by heavy rains, causing the perimeter wall to collapse. The sewage spillage also affected nearby residential properties, causing damage. Na tumekuwa na shida sana sana wakati mvoi na ponyesha, tunakuwa na shida unakuta kama hapa bila sasa imefurika namna hii watu kuna wakati mgumu watoto waweza kwenda kwenye msalani na pia wazienda wakacheza na hii imetokana kwa sababu ya poor drainage pattern enyelewekwa na wale ambao wametuzingira kutoka katika tuseme hiyo area ya Langata center the great north mp Beatrice Elachi has urged the county government to rectify the situation promptly this request comes as residents affected by the flooding continue to relocate their belongings to safer areas elachi has called upon the authorities to take corrective measures going forward starting from tomorrow to address the anomaly that has disrupted the lives of the residents in the area. There's a neighbor of this that was given approvals. The neighbor decided to build concrete on top of a whole line that carries water from the other side to the river. Tomorrow, we must come here with the Nairobi planners. Let us come and look at the whole riparian land and ask ourselves, how do we ensure this should never happen again? Now, family, friends and relatives gathered at the Holy Family Basilica.